Hey guys, welcome to Box Mining, and we have a special featurette edition for DeFi Explained. This is a new series that we're going to explain some common ideologies and concepts in decentralized finance. And today we're going to start off with liquidity pools. You probably heard of liquidity pools in the context of making money because a lot of these pools offer returns and annual percentage yield. So this will lead to passive income and some people are jumping in with their cash, throwing in that to make a little bit of money on the side. This video, we're going to cover what are liquidity pools, just a very basic explanation of what they are so you understand what's going on. We'll also talk a little bit about the pools out there that's available from just Uniswap to Balancer to also Curve. And we'll look at some of the risks involved with these pools as well, as well because obviously they're not risk-free. Speaking of risks associated, sometimes when I read articles like this, it really reminds me of that scene from South Park. I got a hundred dollar check from my grandma and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. Well, that's a very smart decision, young man. First, we can take that money and buy some BTC with it. And with that BTC, we can convert that into REM BTC and stake that into a Curve LP liquidity pool for extra compound interest. And then convert into Symfex, synthetic assets via Mentor. And then you can get some BAO and CRV tokens and it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. So anyways, guys, this is the first video of the DeFi series. If you guys want to learn more about DeFi, make sure you like this video, click subscribe to this channel, and well, let's get started. So despite the cool sounding name, a liquidity pool is not a giant pool full of water so you can jump inside <laughs> and cool yourself off during a hot summer's day. It's actually better than that. It's a giant pool of money. That sounds exciting, right? So let's take a look at some of the pools out there. So let's take a look at Uniswap first. So Uniswap, you'll see that there's various pools for offer. For example, a DAI ETH pool that has $3 million of liquidity. So literally it's got $3 million worth of coins in that pool. So why do people pool the money then? Why do they join this pool? And it's because they earn a portion of the fees. So if you look at the column over here, the fees in a 24 hour period, there was a total of $1,892 worth of fees that this pool managed to generate. And that gets divided to the pool holders. And this is what makes this whole system work. So then how is this money made? Well, it's done via exchange. Uniswap by itself is an exchange and it provides an easy swap between various cryptocurrencies. For example, here I got this loaded up. You can trade one Ethereum for 227 USDT. And you can switch to a wide range of coins as well. So you can just look at this list here and you'll see it's quite a lot. And what happens is, is that the liquidity pool is actually used to fund and to make these exchanges possible. The more liquidity there is in the pool, the more people can buy without affecting the price. So for example, right now, if I wanted to trade one Ethereum for USDT, I'll have a very minimum 0.04 price impact. And that's exactly what the liquidity there pool is there to provide. It's provide funds to allow these exchanges to happen with as minimal slippage or a minimum price impact as possible. And in this example as well, for just this particular transaction, I can also join the pool and provide liquidity. So just clicking the pool tab, join pool, we have ETH USDT, click join. And now I can actually supply my funds. So say for example, I can supply one ETH and 229 USDT to this pool. And once it's supplied, it'll be used to help facilitate those transactions. So that's kind of the process. It's a very easy process of joining a pool. But note as well that you have to supply both Ethereum 
and USDT in this case. So it's not an option of just applying one. You got to supply both. And this actually gives you a clue of what's, what's happening behind the veil of these smart contracts. Once you join a pool, once you supply it with your funds, these funds will actually be traded. And as a result, you will actually have a fluctuation of how much ETH to USDT ratio that you have. So for example, if someone really wants to sell a lot of Ethereum very fast, your USDT that you supply to this pool will be used to buy up that Ethereum to be on the other side of the trade. This is really known as automated market making, and you're essentially playing a part in that market making process. So this also means that over time, your ratio of coins will change. That's because you are providing a service. You sometimes might end up with more Ethereum or less Ethereum than what you deposited. So then what's the reward for that? Well, it's in the form of the liquidity provider fee. So take this example. If I wanted to make a trade right now, if I'm just a normal trader, I wanted to swap one Ethereum for 228 USDT. I will be paying a fee of 0.05911 ETH, and that goes directly to the liquidity providers. If you're interested and just want to dive into this, there's a website called pools.fyi, it allows you to find the best liquidity pools that generate the most amount of fees and money. And sometimes you'll see that not all pools are rewarding. Some you actually lose money in the process. So it is entirely possible that you end up losing some value in the process because of prices going down or because you're on an unfavorable side of a trade. And what I kind of find cool about the site is that it doesn't just include one platform. So for example, it includes Uniswap, Curve, and Balancer, which are some of the top, most talked about DeFi platforms and liquidity pools that's being talked about right now. So you can kind of browse and figure out where the market inefficiencies are, jump in with your funds, and potentially make a profit by those pools. But that's not the entire story, though. Because recently, a lot of these liquidity pools and these automated market makers, that's what they're called, they've been providing their own cryptocurrency as an incentivized reward for joining their pool. And a lot of times, these tokens end up being worth a lot of money, especially after this whole DeFi wave. A lot of these coins started just blowing up and increasing in value. This has led to a recent trend called yield farming with liquidity pools. This is when people intentionally join pools, not just for the profit, but also for the coins associated as well. So there's quite a few guides on that. I've seen these pop up <laughs> this past week. DeFi yield farmers, how to farm on different pools, liquidity pools, etc. It is extremely hard, and I do have to say that it does incur quite some gas fees as well if you want to try out. I'm definitely not encouraging this by any means necessary because there's also risks involved. So let's talk a little bit about the risks. So first and foremost, a lot of these are based on decentralized smart contracts. And in a way, that's good because that's not custodial. There's no one person that holds all your funds and potentially could take that away. So that's great there. But at the same time, there is a possibility that smart contracts can be hacked. So on a lot of these websites, they'll tell you these smart contracts are audited, but they don't eliminate risk completely. So please don't supply your life savings assets or assets you can't afford to lose. This is very important because in the past few years and even a few months, we had issues such as the DeForce hack where smart contracts were hacked by hackers and the funds inside, user funds, people's funds, people's money, got bled. So this is something to be careful of. And especially right now, because decentralized finance is at an experimental stage, there is that risk that not everything is perfect yet. I do have to say that this is far more interesting, though, than custodial solutions. I've seen that pop up recently, people trying to gain a passive income by depositing money in what appears to be a bank, but without banking licenses or without any insurance on funds. And that summarizes what liquidity pools are. They're essentially giant collections, pools of money 
that's used to help market make particular exchange pairs. And as a reward, people who join these pools get a share of all the fees that are involved with market making. I hope this video helped you understand what's going on in the DeFi space, especially with regards to liquidity pools. We're going to do more videos explaining various aspects of decentralized finance in the near future. So make sure you hit the like button and click the subscribe button for new videos in the future. And if you have any aspects that you want me to talk about, I know I had rec various requests for balancer, for curve, for every one of these aspects, leave a comment below. I'll love to answer your questions and make new videos for them as well. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.